Purple gehen nach 49 Jahren in Rockrente. Zum Abschied touren die Urgesteine aber nochmal mit der Infinite The Long Goodbye Tour um die Welt. Beim Stop in Berlin besuchte Sänger Ian Gillian die Bildredaktion. Hand aufs Herz, ist die Infinite Tour wirklich die letzte Tour von Deep Purple? It's one of those difficult things. I mean, I know lots of people around my age who have retired already. And, um, you know, we're all knocking on a bit now. So I think the idea of a finite lifespan for Deep Purple is fairly logical. And a couple of years ago, somebody said, well, you know, I think this should be the last tour because you're all getting old. And everyone went, well, okay. <laughs> Nobody really asked the question, but of course it's getting closer now because we're on actually that tour. And it's not something you want to mislead people, so the answer to your question is yes, this is the last um, ex proper tour, Deep Purple tour. Ist ein Überhit wie Smoke on the Water Fluch oder Segen? When I had my own band, I was outside of Deep Purple. One day I was asked by a journalist, Ian, you're always going to spend the rest of your life, no matter how successful you are with the Gillen Band, in the shadow of Deep Purple. And I said, well, it depends how you look at it. For me, I will spend the rest of my life bathed in the sunshine of Deep Purple. So for me, it's a blessing. And I have to look at all those things, those songs, um, as an absolute blessing. Vor einigen Wochen passierte der Bombenanschlag beim Ariana Grande Konzert in Manchester. Haben Sie Angst, dass so etwas auch beim Deep Purple Konzert passieren könnte? I've been in bomb zones since I was a kid, from Beirut to Chechnya to um, all over the place. But whether it's earthquakes or fighting going on wars or uh, some kind of problem, you generally tend to block it out uh, because it, we're all there for the music, you know, and it's supposed to be a joyous occasion. Um, it's, it's, it, it doesn't enter your mind when you go on the stage.